On Monday, China's central bank unexpectedly cut the rate on reverse repurchase agreements by 20 basis points, the largest in nearly five years. Oil prices crashed to an 18-year low. The Swiss economic indicator plunged to the lowest level in five years. And Japan compiled its bolus ever stimulus package, including cash handouts to struggling households to cope with the coronavirus economic impact. Meanwhile, in the U.S., the number of confirmed new coronavirus cases surged to nearly 160,000. Welcome to the Tick Mill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Tuesday, we'll be looking at the German unemployment, Eurozone's CPI, Canada's GDP, and the US CPI on the economic calendar. Today, I'm looking at the Kiwi Yen pair, which bounced off the eight-year support level of 59.44 last week. If the 2008 economic crisis is going to be the roadmap for the coronavirus crisis, we could expect the pair to eventually drop below this level to revisit the 12-year support of 45, and then perhaps trade within the range between 68 and 59, as it did between the years 2009 and 2012. Of course, this is only if history repeats a version of itself. Do you think Kiwi Yen will reach 45 in April? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading the financial markets involves the risk of loss, and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel. I will get back to you with more updates tomorrow.